Hi, my name is Neil. I'm one of the community development workers based in Hull. So uh, the first thing I'd like to talk about is privacy settings. Um, do you use them? If you don't, you really should. Privacy settings allow you to decide who sees the information that you have on your social media profiles and those kind of things. So uh, if you don't know how to set them, you can go on to the, whichever social media platform you use, say for example, Snapchat, um, go onto their website, put in how to set privacy settings, and follow the instructions. It's really, really simple. Uh, second thing I'd like you to think about is personal information. You need to be really careful about giving away too much personal information. Again, a bit like privacy. So don't ever give out your address, uh, your personal phone number, if you, if you work, where you work. Not everybody online is who they say they are. Okay. Uh, thirdly, um, can be careful about what you post. Um, what I would say is don't post things about other people that you wouldn't want posting about yourself. And don't forget that uh, things posted online can have consequences in the real world. So while we're all in lockdown, um, we can't see the people that we care about. So if you have a partner, a boyfriend or a girlfriend or however you refer to that person, then it's really, really difficult. <laughs> We're all experiencing the same kind of difficulties. We're really missing those people. But use this lockdown period as a chance to really strengthen those relationships. So be creative. Um, you could have virtual date nights. You could have virtual meals. Uh, you could watch the same kind of films online, th those sort of things. It's a way for you to strengthen those relationships without any of the physical content that the relationships might have. Um, obviously, well, once this lockdown is over, that's great. We can we can hold and kiss and cuddle those people. But until then, we do really need to make sure that we are socially distanced from those people. So be creative with those relationships. Now, one of the other things that might go wrong is you might well be tempted to send images of yourself. Um, I'm talking about sexting, or in whole they call it nudes. So what we're talking about is sending naked or semi-naked images um, of yourself to those partners. Now, if you're under 18, it is illegal. Um, under the age of 18, in law, you are still a child. So if, even if you create the image yourself, if it's a selfie, it's still taking an indecent image of a child. If you then send it to somebody, that's distribution of an indecent image of a child. And if they then have it, then it, or if you have one on your phone of your partner, that's possessing an indecent image of a child if they're under 18. So obviously they can be, that can be quite serious. If you are over 18, um, many adults do use sexting as part of, their, of a healthy sex life, but many have experienced quite negative consequences. So you really do need to make sure that anybody in the images is over the age of 18, okay, before you send anything. And also you must get consent before you do, before you do send things. Um, consent needs to be enthusiastic. So are they nodding and agreeing and saying yes, yes, and those kind of things. Positive affirmation, I guess, is what we're looking at. So somebody's freely um, agreeing to something. They're specific about what they're agreeing to so that they know, you know exactly what you are agreeing to and what you're not. Um, consent should be reversible. People have the right to change their minds. So you might agree to something at the start of the night, but actually when it comes towards the event, or even during the event, you might think, actually, I don't want this, I don't like this, please stop. That other person must stop. So, um, but if you are worried about anything, anything to do with online activity, or any of the things that I've spoken about, then obviously you can get in touch with uh, any, any staff from Yorkshire Mesmark, either, either if you live in Hull, with any of, any of us in Hull, or from whatever area you're living. Okay, thank you. I know.